Hi, Russ here and this is my youngest, Jessica. And today we are going to try and answer one of the questions I get asked an absolute ton about by people who are white in their teeth and they're not getting them as white as they want them to be. Okay, so I've literally heard him do that five times. Pretty sure I could memorise it but now and do it better. So I'm going to take over. Now, if you're using over-the-counter whitening toothpastes, they have a very low concentration of active ingredients needed to whiten your teeth. So you're going to need something a bit stronger. You're going to need to use, say, a professional teeth whitening system. And my dad uses whitewash laboratories, but that's a different video in itself. Let's keep on track. <laughs> and it's not enough to just say whiten your teeth once. Things will always go and reverse back. Your teeth are always battling stains. Just imagine a white, say, t-shirt. And all you say, spill something on it. You spill more things, and then these spills will then create, say, complex stains. And you can think of that like your teeth are just like that white t-shirt. The more elements that you introduce into your mouth, like, say, coffee, tea, <laughs> red wine, these things will stain over time. And then that will mean that the more often you would then need to whiten your teeth to break up the complex stains. Now, if your teeth are on the darker side to start with, you probably have a lot more complex stains. And that's fine, it just means that you need to hit them with the teeth whitening solutions more consistently and for longer than, say, someone else. Now, just think of it like this. Say, if you have dark hair but you really want to go blonde, it's going to take a lot of sessions to get to that blonde colour. You know, it's not going to take one session. It can take multiple sessions to get to that colour that you want. This is the exact same with your teeth. Now this bit, it's a bit sad, but we're just gonna, we're gonna go over it, okay? It needs to be said. And it's, maybe your teeth are already at the whitest that they can possibly be. Everyone has a different wall that they hit when they whiten their teeth. And it's frustrating because you don't know if you can go brighter. You don't know if it's the whitening solution that you're using or if, say, you're doing something wrong. Some people can just get naturally really bright teeth. And some people can, and that's just because their teeth have developed, you know? For example, if you have any translucency in your teeth, your teeth are not going to end up looking super bright, you know? And that's okay. We can all have difference. This is the last thing to consider. I've blabbered on for way too long, so let's wrap this up with the last thing. And that is maybe... You have unrealistic expectations. Not in a bad way. I don't think this is anyone's fault. We live in a world of face tune. Everyone's face tuning their teeth. Because of that, we're not exactly sure what's natural anymore. I mean, what's natural colour? People are always surprised when they come into the surgery and they see the shade tap and they see what are actually natural colours of whiteness and what are actually bleach shades. And the bleach shades are those where with consistent whitening, we can get a brighter shade than our natural colour. And those are the shades that you usually see in veneers. And so these teeth are brighter than what you would normally see. And yeah, I'd just say consider that maybe what you're looking at isn't actually natural. They haven't, they haven't done whitening. That's either veneers or face tune. And that's okay, you know? And yeah, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, you on? just let my dad know. I don't know. I don't know. Well, <laughs> we'll check out. Bye. Bye, all.